and I was born in Hickman County, but we moved to Nashville when I was about five, six years old. Well, I, I always did like country music, even when I lived out in the country. And then my brother bought a Manlin. Oh, I love that Manlin sound better than anything I've heard. So, and back when I was learning to play the Manlin, I just play chords, you know. But I play old square dancers back down Hickman County and Wisdom County and around. And sometimes we make a dollar or a dollar and a quarter a night, you know. Man, that's good spending money back in those days, back in the 30s. And uh, I played with different groups in Nashville. We played on WSIX was the first station I ever played this, in 1937. Well, World War II was coming on, and we couldn't get gas. Gas relations couldn't get enough gas to go out and play our personal appearances. And that's our way of making a living, playing the personal appearances. Got out in front of the old Clarkson Hotel. That, that's where a lot of the country music people stayed at, played on Dray and Wop. And uh, I seen the Bells Brothers and the West Virginia Home Folks car sitting right out in front. I said, I used to know them guys up in Charleston. I'm going to go and say, I said to myself, go and say hello to them. Went in and John, they, it was lunchtime, Johnny and uh, Ben's downstairs eating uh, in the dining room. John said, hey, Ernest, come over. I want to talk to you about something. And uh, went over there and sat down in the booth with him. And, I need a mandolin player in my band. At that time, they only had the two guitars and a bass and a fiddle. And uh, I said, well, Johnny, I need a job, boy. Right, but anyhow, I said, well, I'll give it a try. I was, I was so happy to get to play back on the radio again, most especially on the Grand Ole Opry. So we got a, got a chance to go to Chicago and make records. Boy, that made us all happy, you know, because none of us ever made public records, you know, to sell on the market. We got a spot on the Grand Ole Opry. Well, the first song they sang on the Grand Ole Opry, I hit the first notes on it. It's called Dust on the Bible. And my... My dad and my, my oldest brother was sitting right on as close to front as they could get. And I, I hit the first notes on Dust on the Bible. And my brother Charles told me the next day, he said, Ernest, you know what? Papa liked to punch that man's ribs out next to him. He said, that's my boy. <laughs> he, he was proud, you know. I was a proud man. That's, that's been my lifetime ambition ever since I played an old man. I, I'm invited to go up to the uh, International Bluegrass uh, Association. Uh -huh. and. Uh, they got my picture up there in the museum. They invite me every year to come up, and uh, I get to meet a lot of my old friends up there. Uh, maybe if I haven't played with them, I'd play with some band that I was acquainted with, you know. Favorite gospel song, I think, is In the Garden. And uh, that's a beautiful song. It's about Jesus walking in the garden before they come to get him, you know. I walk in the garden alone. While the dew is still on the roses And the voice I hear calling so dear I don't remember. I, I, like I said, I, I can play a little bit, though. Yeah. I think that's one reason I've lived as long as I have. I like to laugh. I like to see people laugh. I like to see you laugh now. <laughs>